Okay, he in here. Let me let me bring let me bring the guy on. All right, let me bring him on so we can be educated. Finally, and and like I said on the last live, this is my very last time doing this. I ain't going live with nobody else because every time I go live with somebody and I'm just seeking information, it's always, oh, he, oh, he should have talked to me or, you know, why did you pick him? I didn't pick nobody. This is just somebody who came after me. So here we go. This is, this is obviously somebody who's going to give us the education on it. Peace. My brother. How long have you been a moor? I've been a moor all my life. Okay, cool. How long when have you been I in the When did I step into the knowledge of my true identity? It was about five or six years ago. Is that a good enough time for somebody to say that you're qualified? Yes, it was 365 days a year. If you uh, dedicate yourself to discovering who you really are, I don't think it'll take too much time, especially if you led in the right path by the right people. Okay, now what now what group are you a part of? Because I know there are certain groups. If this group is speaking, this group is saying, no, nah, he wrong, you should have talked to me. Because I'm not, I, like I said, I ain't doing this no more. Because obviously y'all are taking uh, the context and y'all think that I'm going after people and I'm picking specific people. But what y'all don't realize is I'm just doing my thing. Y'all coming after me. So I go live to see what the problem is, and I just post what actually happened. So this is my don't last time going live. So if you get it don't wrong, the, don't I don't want to hear no the, comments from this Canaan guy talking about this nigga. Pick, he picking somebody who was weak. I don't know none of y'all. So my question is, uh, how to educate y'all? Say, y'all say that uh, you know I'm scared of, of, of the Moors, or you know we not teaching right. So I'm giving y'all my platform. I'm giving y'all my platform to speak and teach and stick these people on here. Teach them what I'm not teaching them. Teach them what I don't need to know and go from there. All right. Um, I'm going to say this to begin. Uh, I would advise you to not be deterred. You ain't doing nothing wrong. Uh, I am not of what you do, you know, yet I watch you and I appreciate what you do. Um, I wouldn't say stop because maybe some more is I giving you a hassle. So, um, we all can be better and we all could know more. You know, the the reason that we're doing this right now is because we're seeking enlightenment. We're seeking education. So do not be deterred from what you're doing because you may be getting some backlash from more or whatever. You're great. But what we're what um okay the brother was asked you the more had asked no you had asked the brother what nationality was. And um Obviously, we noticed that oh, he wait. wasn't. Before we go, before we go there, real quick, not to cut you off. So there's mm -hmm. also some people that come and saying, "Oh, whatever he's uh, uh, Freud or whatever damn mind game he's talking about." Because I asked the brother what nationality is. So what they were speaking about when he asked me what nationality is, I said, "What is nationality?" They assumed okay. that I was playing a game or a mind game, but I wasn't. I'm I know like, the people what people were doing. doing was seeking what his context was. So when I yeah. respond it, I can know what he's talking about because different people have had different ideologies of uh, of, of uh, what nationality is. What people exactly. don't realize is, like maybe two years ago, I literally had a moor on my show for six hours straight, literally for six hours. I let him teach. I let him put <laughs> all his documents. Every, I'm talking about literally a six hour show. So when they like, oh, you don't want nobody on the platform, I've literally had somebody on six hours. But guess what? There was other more saying, well, he's not qualified. He don't speak for us. So every time I go on with somebody and let them speak, it's always another group that comes back and say, Brother Ben X playing games. He not he didn't bring the right people on. So I just wanted to put that context out there. The reason I kept saying what is nationality, because I wanted to get understanding from him. Go ahead. Exactly. Okay. Um, to define nationality, it is the status of belonging to a particular nation, an ethnic, an ethnic group uh, forming a part, or one or more particular nations, all right? Now, the Moors have formulated and a designed answer to that question where we are answered by those who are not Moors. Now, Brother BNX will say, what is nationality? And the Moor would then ask a question that would allow the questionnaire to critically think. I would say, okay, Brother Ben, 
if you are Russian, what nation are you? Uh, what nation are you tied to? And what would you? What would your answer be? Uh, probably Russia. Correct. If you are European, what nation are you tied to? Now let me ask you this: Is Europe is is are you saying you're, that you're it's right. like, is Russia, if you were going to be Russia? It. No, I'm saying if you're going to take Russia, Russia and Europe considered the nations here. Uh, no, they're just they're just questions that's going to allow you to critically think. Just answer, and you were going to say Europe, right? You're yeah, correct. Well, I want to make well, I want to make sure that I'm answering correctly. If if Europe yeah. is a nation, and if Russia is a nation, then I would say mm -hmm. Russia and Europe, of course. But some okay, of right. the kind of countries, whatever they is, countries or continents, or whatever. But I just want to make sure that they're nation because yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, that's what I would tie to. Okay, all right, you good. So if you're from Australia. What nation are you tied? Well, if you're Australian, what nation are you tied to? Uh, Australian. And if you're Chinese, what nation are you tied to? Uh, China. No, no, uh, I don't. No, I, I don't it, know. It, it's uh, actually it, Canada, Canada, they changed the name. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, they changed the name. The China is the nation state. The 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 nation is actually Manchuria. Um. I would ask you if you're Indian, where are you from? You would probably say India. That's also a lie. They changed the name to India. It's actually Hindustan. But I'm going to ask you if you are black, what nation are you tied to? Uh, Asian. Okay, now I'm going to ask you again. If you're Russian, what nation are you tied to? Uh, Russian. If you're European, what nation are you tied to? Europe. If you're black, what nation are you tied to? Asia. You do, now, do you see the misconception? Do you see where we're getting confused? Because I don't, I don't because when you asked me when you asked me uh, for the Chinese, you said uh, you said the nation was not China; it was another name. It's Manchuria, yeah. But I mean, since we're we're under thirty years old, so we we think stuff that happened has always been. We're not looking into yesterday. The, the nation state name was changed a little while ago, but it was before our time. So anything before our time, we think always was, and that's not the truth at all. So in the United States of America, on the landmass of America, the United States Corporation operates. Um, we have a thing called the uh, civil rights that we've been fighting for forever that we have not gotten. Do you know why? Because we are black. We, are, we accept the label of black. And black, by law, means civilly dead. You cannot get civil rights if you are civilly dead. It's called civil... Let's, let's, let's start right there. What are, what are the civil rights that you're speaking of? Um, see, and that, that's originally a problem, too, because our, our predecessors were fighting for civil rights when we should have been fighting for human rights. Humans deserve human rights and whatever else gets the civil shit. And that, that's why, you know, I'm not saying Malcolm, I'm not saying Mark, I'm not saying any of these people were wrong. I'm saying that at now in the time we, as the youth, have all of the evidence, all of the lectures, all of the studies, all of the material to look back and identify the errors of our predecessor identified the errors of our past leaders. We shouldn't be fighting for civil rights. We should be fighting for human rights because we're human. Civil right. rights... Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Before, I, before we, I go back to the civil rights question, uh, mm -hmm. why did Noble did Nob Ali call us Asiatics? Yes, he did. Why? We, and that's what we are. That is the original name of our people, the Asiatics. Why did Boom. he call us Asiatics? Well, that was the name of the land masses before they were separated, and you know how they sliced the piece of pie. You know how it go before okay. Okay. before yeah, the conquering and the colonization and everything. Our people were Asiatics. Okay. Uh, now, when you talked about the rights that we don't have as civil rights because we call ourselves black. That is, where, that is where the third eye, that is when seeing through the matrix comes in. You're always in court, my brother, if you're in the United States. Let me ask you this. When the, when the, when the, when the Moore brother said this nigga Ben X is, is, is easy food, uh, 
do you think that you and the uh, the other Moors went and corrected him when he called me a nigga? I would have definitely corrected him because that's not what we do and that's not what we're about. And um, you know, it's just, you just think, do you think time. This, do you think this Can this Canaan brother who was in here still uh, trying to pick at me while even while we talking now, uh, the one who made the post, do you think he's gonna go in? Do you think it's normal for Morris to go around and say, "Brother, we're not niggas." Look in the dictionary, brother. We not niggas. Do you think they gonna go at him the same way they go at me? Do you think he gonna? Do you think he gonna screenshot that and post it on his page of a more calling me a nigga because I'm not a nigga? I'm gonna I'm gonna say this: the way your response is is the the way your response is consumed determines. I mean, it depends on its delivery. Now, emotionally, they're not in the position to educate because they have been bothered or irritated by what you said. You hear me? Now, but, I'm but here's the thing. What did I say? Well, like you saw the you saw the whole video. Didn't you? What, what did I what did I say wrong? Like what what did I say that would irritate somebody? It's not that you said anything wrong. It is that that we have watched hours and hours of your teaching, and we know you knew the answer to that question. And you just were trying to promote him to explain it to your followers in a way for them to hear it his way. I understood what you were doing. I didn't have a problem with it. I didn't say I don't think that you were um, trolling or whatever it was. I knew what you were doing exactly. You were trying, because you are the nation of Islam. We are the Moors. And I want everybody on here to know we're not separate. We're, we're together, first of all. It is just that there has not been the communication that we're having right now between these two very alike people who just have two different statuses. You feel me? That's mm -hmm. all. And it just depends on who you're talking to and what level of emotional and intellectual control they are at to have the proper communications. That's all. You know, okay. so those, those brothers are our, still our brothers. Those brothers are still our brothers. Um, it's just, as, as humans, yeah, we debate. And that's all that that is. And it's, it don't need to, no more energy needs to be put into that. Whatever questions you have can't be answered. Whatever questions we have can't be answered. We just have to properly deliver our questionnaires. Then that's it. Right. Okay. So back. So back to the. I want you to touch on. You were speaking about the civil rights and uh. Well, not even. Let's go past the civil rights. You was talking about some of the things that uh, that is against us because we haven't claimed the nationality. So what are some of the things that is against us because somebody haven't corrected their uh status? Um. Well. Freedoms, liberties. Uh, everything in that constitution above the 14th, um, it's pretty much like, now we think we free until, you know, we can go shopping, we can stop, grab something to eat, you know, and, you know, we can open our doors and close our doors as we please. This all creates the illusion of freedom and liberty. Mm -hmm. When as soon as we do something outside of what we're allowed to do. Now there is some sort of a authoritative figure that comes in and checks us into our place. That proves that we're not free. You know, that proves that there is no liberty. You know, and when you talk about some things that we aren't allowed to do, what's some of those things? Live, you know, and I'm, and then I have to bring up things like uh, Trayvon You're Martin. Rich. Because I'm, because I'm, uh, you, know, you know, I'm living. So, because uh, do you know why Zimmerman was acquitted? No, I don't. Because Trayvon did not have a national status, and because he is labeled. Is that what black. they said? No, I mean they won't. Ne they will never tell you that. They're never going to say, "Hey, the reason y'all getting treated like this, the reason we killing y'all and beating y'all ass and doing all this." It's because you don't have that. They never give us that key because we all go run and get it immediately. You know, mm -hmm. they gonna allow us to continue to do what we do. They gonna allow us to continue to to march. You know, they they love that shit. They love the parade. You know, they love the they love the the talk and no action. You know, we've been doing that for almost a hundred years, marching and shit. It's pointless. Where have let we me, gotten? Let me ask you this: Do Europeans know about this now? They absolutely do. So. 
So why is it when they go to court for stuff like that, um, they get off? They still get off. Well, this system is built for them, and it is built against us. So, see, they don't have to be more. So you feel me? They don't have to be. This is the system that they designed to throw the veil over us, and they're, they're in the status of us. Whites, they're in the white status. Now, I got to tell you, white is a status. It is not a, it no, is not no. a nationality. It is not no, a... What, what, I'm, what I'm saying is, that, like, white people have been killed, too, like, unjustly. Like, how do white people get off when they kill white people unjustly because they you said they know the knowledge they got the knowledge mm -hmm. how come how come people still get off when they kill white people well that's because it's usually a white judge over it at a, a european judge and they have the complexion for the protection you feel me? like if it's my system that i designed for my people i'm going to give my people maybe benefits or privileges that the system wouldn't give to those that it's not designed for. And that's just as simple as it gets. That's as simple as it comes. No, I think I think you, I think I'm probably saying it wrong. What I'm saying is not not a white person killing a black person. I'm talking about mm -hmm. a white person dying and mm -hmm. the person still gets off and mm -hmm. they, 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 they 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 was a white person. So how like those cases like that that is the that it is a European judge protecting his European people. And if they do get convicted, it is usually the lightest of the lightest conviction they could possibly get. You see how these like these little these Europeans, they might mass rape or something like that and then get probation or a year or something like that. When if it was someone of a, a darker pigment, a heavy melon melanin uh composition, they would have got the slab, you know, they would have got it all, you know. So, and that's just them protecting their own, you know. And that's as simple as that, you know. Yeah, so there is. So if a more, so if a more do those things, how do how do y'all get off? Like for like this, this is my ultimate question. I'll be asking. Like, okay, you said not how you uh, specifically, but more say, okay, you're black, you don't have what. So if I run somebody over, if I mm -hmm. have, like, I'm thinking about reasons I would go to court, because, like, when people talk about court, like, I, I don't go to court, so if I went to court, it's for a crime, uh, mm -hmm. I done robbed somebody, I done killed somebody, I done ran somebody no, over. No, you, that's not, no, that don't even speak that, that's not your character. If you were to be going to court, you will probably be being framed for something you didn't do, because it is not of anyone of the nation of Islam to be addicts, to be killers, to be dealers, to be thieves. That's not y'all characteristics. That's not y'all personality. That is not what you all have been about ever. So that is not why you will go to uh, court. If you were being summoned to court, it would be for something that you probably didn't do. Because Moors, nor do the Nation of Islam, portray or behave in any type of negative way, or I'll use uncivilized for those who like that word. We are not uncivilized people. As a matter of fact, we are the best of our people. We are the most knowledgeable of our people. Uh, Ken, Ken said, what the F are you talking about? Uh, I, thought I, I thought I clearly said it. Uh, I said, I don't go to court. And the reason I would probably go to court is if I did something like that, accidentally ran somebody over, killed somebody, robbed somebody, things of that nature. Mm -hmm. I, mean, I was so confused about that. What I was saying was, if I go to court, it's probably going to be for a crime. So if I go to court for a crime, and you go mm -hmm. to court for a crime, what is going to mm -hmm. be the difference in the two? Well, let me let me say this because it's not just about Brother Bennett. Let me let me say this as well because yeah, Brother Ben X may not do it, but there's many other black people who are gonna kill somebody, who are gonna rob somebody, who is going to court every damn month because of mm -hmm. so I and may you, not do it, but somebody else who we also because, talking to is gonna look, go to court for something like that. So what's the difference from them doing something? They went to court, and then the if and then he, what if he goes to court and said, "Well, I'm not black, I'm a more." What's going to be the difference? Well, you wouldn't just be able to say you wouldn't just be able to say that. You have to prove that. You have to have some gold seals. You have to have a grand sheet that can vouch for you. Um, like we all have our paperwork it's a, on the government issue paper with gold seals at the bottom. 
they're in and stored somewhere, sealed away. We don't just carry those around in notebooks so that the rain can wet it. We don't do that. You have to be able to, uh, and then you would, you would probably, as a more, you would have no background. You know what I mean? Because I mean, not not unless you came into your Moorish knowledge after you was a victim of European knowledge. And the reason that you're led down these ways is because of your interest in the European lifestyle. You hear me? It is the status of black that gives you the thought pattern to behave as if you are mentally dead. If you called yourself a Moor and knew what the definition was and knew what the characteristics of these people were, all of those traits of a black man or woman would be eliminated. All of those mentally dead traits. Now, when you say black or when anybody says black, what a Moor hears is mentally dead. What a Moor hears is civilitier mortis. What a Moor hears is incapable and incompatible because this person. I don't think that's a good. That's 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 what I have a problem with. Now I'm no, going to y'all page. We may page. not move, we may not move off that, but that's what we hear, and that's why we then go into education mode. My brother, you are not black. As a matter of fact, you are brown. I'm a painter. You know, I have tons of paintings all over my home. Uh, I know the color board very well. So when you call yourself black and I can see you with my 2020 vision and I see that you are a variation of brown, I now become confused because either you are blind or you are well, see, not. That's, 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 that's what you're explaining is why I have the problem. Because okay. if, you're, if if when somebody's speaking, like for example, not to be vocal, mm -hmm. if you mm -hmm. if you heard if you heard a sister say, "This bitch getting on my nerves," would you say, mm -hmm. "Sister, um, are you talking about a female dog?" Would you say that? No, I I know what she means though. So you know why, is it, why, is hear, why is it when you hear one thing? No, no, no. You, I would you, still you don't want to understand I, the context. I didn't but say that I would say using colloquialism. Then you, then you know what she's saying. So you're not going to go into teach mode and say, mm -hmm. "Sister, that's that 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 sister right there is not a female dog. Well, no, that is a woman." I, I, the dictionary says nobody does that. I would, I would first probably tell her to respect her sister as though she would want to be respected. But the fact that people use this word so freely is the reason we are facing the damnation we are facing. If everyone stopped using the word, they would have to stop using the word and applying its definition to the body of the person using the word. It stands. You gotta understand that that what is that your word is bond. Your word is frequency. You feel me? The word is God. You feel me? The, we are oscillators. When we speak, when things exit our mouth, they become. You have to stop saying you are black because it means you are dead. To you, the education they provided you, they taught you to meet, think that it's just a color. They taught you to think that, hey, you can generalize. But it's, but it's not a color, though, to me. Like, when you keep giving that example about a painter, as, okay. even when That's I say black, I'm not talking about status or law, but I'm not talking mm -hmm. about color either. Okay, I'm going to say it like this. When you step in the courtroom, can you use common knowledge or do you have to use law? I don't know what you have to necessarily use. I mean, I'm you sure somebody to use use law. The law. You can't. You can. Okay, it's like this: if you step into a courtroom and don't speak the language of the court, they have to provide you an interpreter to help when you my, understand. When now, Muhammad what? Ali went to, when, when Muhammad Ali was going to trial about the about the uh, about being about trying to be the, uh, uh, yeah. about the going to the war and stuff like that, he he's he's he still was using message the black man. Like he didn't like he didn't say no, brother. I'm a I'm a more. He was Muhammad Ali, a black man who's not no. going to fight for somebody. His else. Name, he can he can call himself whatever he want to call himself. His name is Ali. He is a more. His okay, status. So so, so 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 if I just got the name Ali, I'm good. No, you have to have the knowledge behind that as well. You know so that's, what I, that's what I'm saying. Muhammad Ali, he wasn't using no more stuff. He was Muhammad using what he learned from the Abdul name. Rahman, who who too, who got who, uh, for those who don't know, it was Abdul Rahman who encouraged mm -hmm. him to go that route about the war. But he didn't he didn't go in saying my name is Ali. I'm, 
I'm a more. No, he stood on the teaching. Yes, uh, because Ali, and I'm not saying he was used. I'm just saying the opportunity was definitely taken advantage of. I'm saying that he wasn't super educated in his background. He was encouraged by a, who you said? What's the name again? Abdul Rahman. Abdul Rahman. So it's like, boom, okay. I see I see my brother Muhammad Ali got the stance. He got the attention. Let's educate him enough so that he can go forward. And he was already a very eloquent, very eloquent, very intelligent man. You know what I mean? He just then came in contact with these other people who enlightened him even further, you know? And now, but that was back then. This is why I said we're at the time where we can capitalize off the mistakes or errors of our predecessors because we have all the footage. We have all their books, their documentaries. We have everything. That's why I said we shouldn't be fighting for civil rights no more. That was their mistake. That was their mistake. We should be fighting for human rights. We should be declaring our nationality, our nationality and fighting for rights as actual flesh and blood beings, not marching for civil rights because civil rights in their law book, in their courtroom, means dead. We cannot get dead rights. We can't. It's called civil tier mortis. It's called civilly dead. So fighting for civil rights when you are in the status of being civilly dead is a complete contradiction. Do you have anyone ever said that to you before? Uh, no. I don't Never really have a lot of conversations that. like that. But let me let me ask you this. Not to be petty, but mm -hmm. uh, with OJ Simpson, when mm -hmm. Johnny Crocker went in, did he say that he was a more? Is that how he got him off? That's what Johnny Crocker said? No, I'm asking. Because because basically, if you're black, that's how they get you. So how did OJ get off? OJ's situation had nothing to do with uh with being a moor. OJ, yeah, they can't accuse you and convict you of something that they have no evidence of. There was no <laughs> evidence that OJ did that. Okay, so if I go to court, like you said, on fraud or whatever the case may be, if they have no evidence, they ain't going to get me, brother, whether if I'm black or more, right? <laughs> That's that's not true. We know tons and tons of brothers that have been convicted of crimes they did not commit. We know that. Um, but we do know what you just said though. If you come to the courts in your proper status, with your proper paperwork, in your proper garments, I can guarantee you a dismissal or a hold on your case. Guaranteed. Right, so how did OJ get off and he didn't come like that? Because they wanted to get him. Yeah, they did. You know that. So how didn't they get OJ? His hand didn't fit the glove. So so, so basically, it doesn't matter that we call ourselves black. Like, you live right and you live right and your hand don't fit the glove, you good. That only goes so far. Everybody hand <laughs> won't, won't fit the glove. You feel me? Like every that's not the case for everybody. It it'll make more sense for you to be properly prepared than to just be like, let's just hope the glove don't fit. You know what I mean? Like it it we had to look, we just, okay, we I, don't I, hope I, somebody, that I think I think this is a more. Somebody said OJ got off because he had a good lawyer. So if I got a good lawyer, I'm good, right? Is that what he's trying to no, hold on let me, before hold on? Wait, wait, let me see. Now, brother Conscious Crooks, are you a more? Because I don't want I don't want to make it seem like oh brother Bennett, you're not reading a more comment, all that type of stuff. So I think he is though. Let me see uh if this brother's with is with the Moors. OJ got off because he had a good lawyer that knows how to play the game of court. Every court is a game of basketball, tennis court. So if I so if I call myself black and I get a good lawyer, I'm good if I got at least a good lawyer. Under that table. Yeah, because it's their system. And you got to understand that the money you pay that lawyer, the judge, the state, um, the public defendant, they're all in the same bid. You feel me? Your lawyer has to take the bar in order, or attorney has to take the bar in order to even become a lawyer or attorney. That's called, it's, that is the British um, Inquisition, uh, something. The BAR, it's a it's pretty much a, a creed and an oath that they take. They're all a part of the same stuff. Most people don't know that. 
Oh, I'm, I'm plugging my charger up. Okay, it's now, 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 see, now this is this is what I'm talking about right here. Now, Kanan Landmore says you a sellout if you got a lawyer. See, it's always a, you know, no, nah, it's this, no, nah, it's that. So, he, so what's your thought yeah, on that? He said you a sellout if you got a lawyer. Because, no, look, lawyers only practice law. Lawyers know the law. Attorneys, they only do like statutes. Attorneys are a stand-in. You hear me? Lawyers actually know the law. You hear so, me? So what's your thoughts on what he just said? You're you're a sellout if you got a lawyer. You're, he said that? Uh yeah, he literally just said that. The guy that you the guy who posted my video that you commented on, he said you're a sellout if you got a lawyer. You're a sellout if you got a lawyer? Well, I mean, they do take the bar. So I guess technically he he, he is right in a way. It's not He's not wrong. He's been, he may be delivering his information very strongly or aggressively, but he's not wrong. If you take the bar, you're a part of you're a part of the situation. If you're going to law school, you're a part of the situation. You're part of the system that has been designed to destroy you. Whether you're standing up there as a heavily melanated public offender, you feel me? Whether you're a, a heavily pigmented police officer, whether you're um, a heavily pigmented politician and me, I have an extensive background in politics. Now I'm the one of, I am the youngest, I was the youngest politician in the state of Illinois. I'm a six term elected official before I woke up to the truth, got exposed to some stuff that I did not want to be a part of, and I got my ass out of the situation. So, yeah, I was the youngest person on the Board of Education in the state of Illinois and a three term, and a three term elected, uh, official as the vice chairman of the Young Democratic Party. So I know a lot about uh, law and policy and politics and statutes and stuff like that. And because of that proof that I know, because I know it's designed against us, because I know, and you can look me up, I'm uh, Art, Ron, uh, Ronnell Art Tatum, uh, you know, so that, that's all on the Google and stuff like that. But so, because so do you do you do you go into court and, and help people with their cases? I do not. I right. actually try to stay as far away from court as possible, and I encourage uh, my brothers and sisters to not fall into the traps that will lead you down that path. So, what if they do though? What if you got a brother who say, "Hey, man, I don't know the law, man. You know it. Can you come represent me? Do you do stuff like that?" Oh. <laughs> I haven't done anything like that. I wouldn't. I wouldn't say that I wouldn't. I, you know, I would definitely divulge myself into a, a little more um, a specific, particular knowledge sectors to um, get more devout in their law and natural law and common law because of different types of laws. Uh, before I, before I said or devoted myself to a task like that, but that's not what I do now. Now, now this is now now this is gonna be a heavy question. Mm -hmm. so, uh, answer properly, because I don't want nobody to say better been asking a quick a, a trick question. <laughs> he says, if you get a lawyer, you're a sellout. I asked you what you thought about that. You said, well, he's basically true. So, is advice all of our people who call themselves black don't get a lawyer? If you get in trouble. Don't get a lawyer. I know you don't know the law because you obviously still call yourself black. You don't know the law. You never see yeah. the law. So when you go in there, don't get a lawyer. Don't get nobody that knows the law. No, no, no. Is this if you never studied the law, if you don't know who you are and cannot stand on your own square in a courtroom in front of a judge, you should not. You should have an attorney. Or a lawyer. You you cannot if you cannot stand on your own square, if you don't know anything about law, you need to get whoever they provide for you in that situation. And if you don't have a lawyer or attorney, they usually provide you a public defender anyway. You know? Okay, see now this is why I'm confused. Now I want you to follow me, brother. I don't want you to think and hey, you on here live with me. Now the brother says that's not what was said. You're playing games now. Is that not what the brother said, brother? I'm asking you. Because I what? literally read what he said. He said, if you get a lawyer, you're a sellout. Ain't that what he said? That's what that's what I see. So now he's saying, now he's saying that's not that's not what was said. You're playing games. See what I'm saying? This and 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 this is the person who reposted me, 
talking about I'm lying and all this different stuff. I literally read what he said on the screen. So uh, if, if you if somebody saying I would, I would if, you are, if you get a lawyer to sell that, that don't make would, sense to me because I, 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 I see what you're saying. Somebody got to come in here and, and represent for me. Do something. This is what I'm saying. My brother uh, Canaan Land Morris. Since we are speaking to brothers and sisters who don't know as much about this that we do, we have to be very specific, very detailed, and very patient. That's all that I'm. That's all that I would suggest. We can't us speaking to each other. We can say the half of something, and because the knowledge we already possess, we know the whole thing. We can't say the half of anything. To those who don't know the whole, we have to explain in detail. We have to be very precise about what we're doing when we're educating, and that's all that I would suggest. I'm not going to ever tell. I'm not going to tell him he's wrong. I'm not, not going to say I'm not going to ever tell. I'm not going to tell him he's wrong because he's saying right things. It's just the delivery that it's coming to us in is uh, you in and others may be slightly confusing. It's not confusing to me. I understand exactly what he's saying. He's right about certain things that he's saying. He's just delivering it in a way that can't be consumed and digested and registered. That's all. Okay, well, deliver that correctly because, again, we got 100 people on now. Mm -hmm. and I brought you on specifically so that you can tell them what other people are not telling them. So he, the way he be talking, he got to be intelligent and know who his audience is, first of all. So if I'm saying something, I have to know I'm speaking to these people who don't understand, so let me be correct, not get mad at Brother Ben for repeating what I'm saying. Let me mm -hmm. be correct in what I'm saying. So I get like over 90 people on, what should they be doing? If they go to court, should they get a lawyer? Should they not get a lawyer? I need, I, we need the, the guidance. What should we be doing? If, if you cannot stand on your own square and have not studied law, get yourself some representation because you're going to need it. That's it. And if you can't get it yourself, they will provide it for you. It's called a public defender. Okay, now then let's go back into the black. So I want you to talk about the differences. What are some of the things that you are able to do? Now, and, 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 and you can talk about, you can talk about, I want you to first talk about outside of law. Because mm -hmm. you talk about we don't have freedom, we don't have liberty. So what are some things that you got now? Let me tell you why I'm asking. This. One more came on, and you, this may not be the right more, but he came on and said, we don't pay mortgage. We don't pay insurance. We don't pay no, uh, he said, we don't got no license. We travelers, you know that stuff. We travelers. We don't pay for none of that. So I asked him, I said, well, brother, if you're not paying mortgage, if you ain't got to pay for a license, if you ain't got to pay insurance, brother, you need to have a whole bunch of money stacked up because most yeah. people are living check to check because they got to pay bills. They yeah. pay a car note. They pay yeah. an insurance. So mm -hmm. I said, well, brother, y'all should be, y'all should be building a whole bunch because y'all y'all should have businesses or a mm -hmm. job and I, and, and, mm -hmm. and I may be wrong with this but in my mindset if I didn't have to pay bills and, I, and I'm not a businessman I would go get a job I would stack my money up because I ain't got to pay mortgage I ain't got to pay insurance I ain't got to pay all this stuff y'all pay for exactly. pay. what right. are some of the differences or was he right was he wrong what's some well, of the differences that you have that we don't have well um, I'm extremely financially stable. I would state that. Um, and that's, that's only because I don't have the interest or desires of the European values. I don't need that flashy car, nor do I want it. I don't care for a designer. It makes no sense to me. I like our cultural garment. Um, I don't like, uh, I spend my money with my own people, so I don't frivolously do fast food. I'm a, I'm a vegan, number one. I'm plant-based. I've been there for, like, six years now. So I save a ton of money not investing in a BS. You remember? So with the knowledge also came a way of life, you know? Mm -hmm. So now that I, I realize what I need, I can identify what I don't need. I can identify what I don't want. My desires for uh, European worldly uh, possessions have been eliminated. My desire to live up to their uh, determination of success has been eradicated. My mm -hmm. desire to live in their likeness does not exist. So let so, me ask you this. Do you pay mortgage or rent? Uh, I pay rent because 
I am living in an apartment. You know what I mean? I do not pay mortgage, but within the next 365 days, we will be we'll we'll probably do this again, and I'll be I'll be showing you the land that I own. Do you have to pay uh property tax on that land once you get it? Um, if you pay a property tax, then you don't really own the land. So, um, are you, so are you going to be paying property tax on that land? The way I'm going to go about it, I will not. I'm gonna buy the land from whoever currently owns it, or I might inherit the land. I may claim my natural estate. Do you know there's so much land that is unclaimed, or the U.S. is operating on top of the land? Because we are not in our natural capacity or status in order to claim the land that we're supposed to inherit from our predecessors. Thank. You. I'm glad you said that because I I wanted to ask that as well. Where is all of the land? Because if all you got to do is claim your nationality or or whatever the the status correction you just said, mm -hmm. why don't y'all already have the land? You said you've been a more all your life and you've been studying for five years. I've why, been a why more. Why don't y'all have it already? I've been, I've been a more all of my life. I came into the knowledge of who I was about six years ago. That day I came into that knowledge, it has been a continuous spree of studies and self-education and self-enlightenment. And in the process of that, I learned how to live and eat properly. I learned how to save and spend this fiat. I learned uh, the land, the values of land, how to properly purchase it so that I don't have to pay a mortgage, so that I don't have... So you can't just step into things without knowing any knowledge of it. Or you can, but I would say that it's foolish. You know what I mean? But in order to do the right but thing... I, but, I'm, but I'm talking about not just you. I'm talking about more who have been Moors for 10 years, 20 years. I, there are, there are, I, know, I know very wealthy Moors. I know more no, I'm, talk, I'm talking about did they just... They claimed it, and they didn't have to pay nothing. They just inherited it. Um, yeah, it's pretty much it's pretty much like an inherit. It's pretty much like the United States saying, "Our bad. I didn't know you were more. Here's all the shit that belonged to you before we took it." So how long and did this process take? It'll probably. I mean, your first check may be like twenty three thousand, then your second check may be sixty two, then your third check may be one hundred and fifty. No no, 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 not how much. How long does it? How take? long? This will take uh, seasons. If you may, it may the process, the paperwork, the status, the proper status correction, the mailing it in, the um, the mailing it in to the locations that hold you dear to the corporation, like the Social Security office, the driver's license, uh, the uh, the birth certificate. Once you get your status corrected, you then have to send in these notices to these corporations that hold you dear to the United States. You have to send them that. You know, once you mail that to them and keep your receipts, it's on file that you've notified them. You are now officially in your natural uh, capacity. So how, and, long, so how long do it take to just mail out some paperwork and stuff? Oh, uh, I mean, if you started today... If you corrected your status, if you uh, mail them off to get them sealed, that'll probably take thirty days. You know, it's like a it's a, it's a few people doing the work. If you got two hundred, if you got a lot of people doing, it, there are entire facilities that do this. You know that? Oh, maybe you don't know that. Okay, so I, I, for me, I'm a my. How long did it take me personally to get my paperwork back? I'll say about sixty days. Is that is that what you're asking me? Simply, how long did it take to, for your status correction and paperwork to come in? No, what I'm saying is, if it took 90 days, why mm -hmm. why why has it been over six years and you don't got the land yet? Yeah. Um. And the reason, hey, the, I ain't gonna lie, I did, I did laugh, I did, yeah. I did laugh. That's why I didn't want to be, I didn't want to be mature and lift your head. I didn't want to laugh at his face. It was, yeah. I'm laughing because I'm reading, I'm reading the comments too. Oh, okay, I'm okay. Saying, okay. Right, I'm, I'm not saying right. game. These are these are real questions I'm asking. I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. It's it's no. It, it, there is no benefit of me. Um telling you how much I have, what I have, because that'll be me encouraging. No, 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 no. I'm not, I'm not saying, you know, oh, I got yeah. 1.5 million. I'm not saying yeah. exposure. So I'm, I'm saying, not, brother, yeah. if, you, if you got, if you got, you said you don't, you already said you don't have the land. You said you're, mm -hmm. you're, you're renting. And, I, and that's mm -hmm. not shake to anybody. A lot of people yeah, are, that's not a shake at all. If it only takes 90 days, 
to say mm -hmm. let me work off it, you know, 30 mm -hmm. days, 90 days. Mm -hmm. What has taken so long for not, not, and I'm not even just talking about you. Other mm -hmm. people who've been on YouTube for years, mm -hmm. going after people, nigga, you're not black, you're not black. How come well, they don't have all this land and buildings and all this stuff? Been, they're not as hungry. They don't have a point to prove. Within the last five years of me coming into my true self, my body has changed, my mind has changed, my bank account is is in the figures, you feel me? Like, what do you do? Do you know how much money you frivolously spend a year? You feel me? If you eliminate that shit and save, you're you're Gucci, you feel me? Like, it's a mind, they don't, they don't care enough. People talk a talk, bro. They Talking the talk and walking the walk is two very different things, you feel me? I, I told you something today, in a, a, a year or less than that, It'll be true. You feel me? It, it all takes time. Like the the five years it took for me to come into the knowledge that I have now in order to confidently get on here and and communicate with you. It, it that does that's not something you get overnight. You feel me? You got more on here that's watching this. You feel me? That that's like okay, sooner or later I'll be at that level where I'm confident. Enough. You don't just. I mean, when your teacher asks you, do you know what the answer to that math problem is on the board? If you're not confident in it, you don't raise your hand and get up that answer. You hear me? And, but, see, and, but see, that's where humility comes in. Like, like we're taught do for self. Mm -hmm. not, everybody not doing for self the next day. Yeah. If you're not, then why, don't go to every brother talking about brother. How come you still working on the white man job? Brother, uh, how come you ain't got your own business? No, let me humble my butt down because yeah. I ain't did it yet. So my, my yeah. question is, what's all the arrogance about? What's all of the you not black, brother, because if you black, you got to be doing Brother, you and in that, that position is, uh, right now. Why that not, is, uh, you know, speak with love if you know it ain't that easy? Like, here's my thing. For you to say the brothers ain't did it because they don't have the confidence, why are you going after other people talking to them like that if you ain't even got the confidence to do what you're telling them to do? That's my question. Not just to you, but to other Moors. If I, you I, I, the brothers don't got confidence to go out and do it, yeah, I, I didn't you. see nobody condemning people because they still call themselves black. You make sure that you're an example first. Then mm -hmm. you go try to teach them. Don't talk down to them. You're right. You're right. And I don't, I don't, that, and that is why I wanted to get on here with you so that we could have a respectable conversation and share information so that the people can see that there is no division and that we're just trying to learn each other. Even I don't, I don't, because what I saw was, damn, it's like the nation of Islam beefing with some Moors, and we don't want people to think that. We the same, you feel me? I don't want the people to think that at all. That's why I said, that's why, that's why I immediately messaged you. I was surprised that you uh, commented back, because I was like, okay, this is, this is down to earth. If he was, if he was coming back to what I said, he's a down to earth brother. Well, see, I that's because a lot of people are putting, uh, are painting false images like the guy Canaanite. He made a video and said, I'm lying, which I didn't lie about nothing. I didn't even say, I just said my teaching. I didn't lie about anything. That's number one. Then the other guy tried to talk about money, talking about Brother Ben X. Oh, he made so much money being black. He got popularity being black, so he can't change his status. So the percept their perception is he's projecting his thoughts in my pocket. Stay out, just stay out of my pocket. He thinks the only reason I'm not changing over is because I'm going to lose some money. Ain't got nothing to do with no money. So no. what I think is if people just, you know, if I'm making a video, you have to understand the context in which I'm making the video. The video that was reposted, it, mm -hmm. shouldn't, have even, it shouldn't have even been a thought that the nation is beefing with Moors. Let me tell you why. Because if you actually go look at my, uh, my YouTube, the whole YouTube is about me sharing where the minister and the Honorable Elijah Muhammad paid honor to Noble Jurali. That's mm -hmm. why I was so confused at y'all comments. Like, what are y'all talking about? The whole YouTube video was about us showing where the minister would stop his lecture at Savior's Day, stand the morals up and say, give it up for these brothers. I'm talking about in the Final Call newspaper where he would write multiple articles where it says, look at the morals, look at the great Noble Jarali, we should honor and respect him. The whole thing was about the nation's perspective about the good works of Noble Jarali. But mm -hmm. what I got in return is, some more this nigga uh brother being lying or oh he oh he too good or he he got the money being black so all i got was negative responses that's why i said the comments was, was emotional responses then the sister come and talk about brother ben x playing games and he know 
No, the whole thing was about me showing people, no, we not against the Moors. But when mm -hmm. I got in return, as I did before, Moors coming after me. So that's why I brought the brother on, for those who are wondering. I didn't just pick a random person. I seen somebody uh, uh, talking about oh, laughing and mocking and talking about we being black. So I'm like, what's the problem? Because my post that, wasn't, that was, even, a, that wasn't was, even about black or anything. It was I'm just a, simply about the honor of Elijah Muhammad. So I brought him on. That's how he got on. I didn't just pick somebody who weak. I didn't even know him, just like I don't know you. Mm -hmm. But look, and that's why, you know, that's why I said you got to be careful with that. Um, because, you know, we see you all as very serious, very respectable men and women. When I, I tell, we respect y'all. You know, we love y'all, you know? We may not agree with everything y'all do, but we love and respect y'all. Oh, okay, I'm let me, I'm saying, so, so now I got to ask this question. Mm -hmm. uh, do you call yourself a, a, a Muslim in the Nation of Islam? Um, I am Islam. I no, wouldn't. No, no, if, if you don't, that's fine. I'm just asking. Do you call yourself a Muslim in the nation of Islam? I, w I don't say that I'm necessarily a Muslim. No, but no. I okay, no, no. I, get, I, I know what you about to say. You know. So okay. now you got, you got Canaan Land Moore says, please, if you honor and respect him, you would say y'all Moors. You see how foolish that sounds? That's like me saying I honor and respect my Christian mother and somebody saying, please, if that was the case, you would call yourself Christian. This is the type of stuff that I think is misrepresenting y'all because, you know, they make these videos or they go out and say these different things. And I know one individual don't represent all of the Moors, but I'm just, mm -hmm. I'm just pointing things out to you to show you where the division is coming from. Just yeah. because I honor and respect you as a brother don't mean I'm going to call myself whatever you are. Just, just, exactly. just because I honor and respect the Hebrew Israelite and the work that they do don't mean I have to call myself a Hebrew Israelite. This is the foolishness that has to stop, and this is what's causing the division. I agree. I completely agree. And which is why I would just tell my brothers and sisters to practice more self-control. You hear me? Once these words leave your mouth, emotions and affects are tied to them. And they may be ingested and interpreted in ways that you not that you did not mean them to be. And we have to be very careful. That is why we we can't be trying to correct people, telling them to use the proper term terminology to describe themselves, telling them to stop calling themselves black. When if we're going to get emotional and not be able to properly educate and explain why they should not call themselves black. Indeed. Yeah, we, we can't we can't try to correct their terminology but deliver it in a way that insults them you know so that is why i'll tell you delivery goes hand to hand with the response you get you hear me if i was cursing you if i delivered something to you completely nasty the response that i should mutually get back that the universe has taught me should be a nasty response it's less tally on that you feel me it's eye for an eye you're not we, you know, I can't, how am I going to be rude or be nasty to you or, and expect, that's why I delivered it. I, I, when I, when I responded to you, I asked you questions. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, is it not? Is that? What is you? And then I, I explain myself. You know I, mean? I can't just be saying one, two, three worded, very aggressively emotional sentences and be expect.